All right, this is our lesson about the mesh to roof add-on. Irregular freeform shapes can be modeled using the mesh tool. These items can be converted to roofs with this add-on. To install the mesh to roof tool add-on, copy the mesh to roof file into your designated add-ons folder, typically the add-ons folder in the ARCHICAD 12 folder. In this case, the add-on will be automatically loaded the next time you start ARCHICAD. Alternatively, you can save the add-on anywhere on your hard disk and load it through the add-on manager. The selected mesh objects can be transformed into grouped individual roof planes. The individual roof planes can be deleted or edited further. Their pitch, their pitch can be modified, etc. And that gives us more editing options for the resulting surface patches than for the mesh object they originated from. So let's take a look how this works. I've created a unusual organic looking mesh here. And if we select that and we go into our 3D view, You can see we have a very unusual organic looking mesh. So in order to convert that into a roof, we'll go back to our first floor. With our mesh selected, we go to design, design extras, create roof from mesh. Now our mesh is still selected so going into the context menu right click we can go into layers and hide layer. Now if we select this you'll see in our little pop-up box that now this is a roof And if we go to show all in 3D, we've turned that mesh into an editable roof. And here we can And here we can edit the roof as we can any other roof created by the roof tool. Now this gives us some other opportunities for modeling that uh, we can demonstrate here. We'll go back into the first floor. Let's select our mesh tool again and say we want to make a wall with a curvy top which we can't do easily with the wall tool and we'll create a mesh with the regular slope tool. We'll draw out a box. We'll make this five vertical divisions and zero horizontal divisions. Select OK. Now with this mesh selected, we can put in some different mesh point heights. And say we'll put in a foot here. OK. And we'll put in two foot there. And we'll put in one foot there. And 
and we'll leave that where it is. Let's take a look at that mesh object in 3D. So we'll go back to our first floor plan. And let's draw a wall through here. that wall and make it a couple of feet thick. Bring it back down. We'll elevate our mesh toward the top of the wall. Let's adjust this wall length so that it falls completely under that mesh. All right, we've placed our mesh with our wall underneath. We'll select our mesh. We'll go into design, design extras, and we'll select create roofs from mesh. Our mesh is still selected, so we can go into layers and we can hide that layer. Now we have our wall underneath the roof. We can select both. We can select all of this with the marquee tool and go into show selection marquee in 3D. Now we have a wall underneath a multi-sloped organic roof we can select that wall, right click to bring up our context menu, go down to trim to roof, select trim top and then trim. Now if we select the roof and turn off that layer, hide that layer, so here you can see the possibilities for making a, an odd shaped wall. If we were to select that wall and go into wall selection settings and model, and we could pick some kind of stone on the wall. You can see further possibilities. And that's our lesson on 
mesh to roof and a couple of possibilities and things that we could do with mesh to roof.